Thank you very much. Oh, it's great to see such a good crowd here on election night. Now, I would first ask you to turn your mobile phones over off or to silent. This is a, about an hour and a half concert, and it is an election-free zone for that hour and a half. Okay? <laughs> I'm going to introduce the band one at a time. This, this to me is a really exciting night and we have amazing talent on stage tonight. So first of all on drums, we have the drum tutor from the Conservatorium of Music, Mr. Stephen Marshall. On the double bass. We have the senior lecturer in double bass, and I think he's also the head of contemporary, isn't he, Stephen? Yes. Yes, we have. We have Dr. Nick Hayward. Yes. We have numerous awards as well. And of course, on the piano tonight, we have the head of the conservatorium. And I think the correct title is Associate Professor Andrew Link. <laughs> now to get us started, we're going to have the vocal tutor in contemporary voice, Miss Maria Lavigny. Please welcome Maria. <laughs>
So many musicians to this day count the evenings that they spent playing music and making music with her as some of the most extraordinary in their life. And so the real message with jazz maybe is that it's human, that it's about people. about a moment.
always say her nickname is Sassy. And that came from her nickname of Sailor because she had apparently the dialect of a fisherman. I'll leave that one with you. But she clearly had a great sense of humor. It was strong. Whiskers on the kingdoms, bright copper kettles, warm wooden wings, brown paper packages tied with strings. These are my favorite things. So who got me there? She went through lots of 
different creative partnerships and interestingly, all of her husbands were her manager as well. I'm not sure what that says, except that it might have been hard to live a life and breathe it and work together. But it wasn't certainly for nothing because we remember the great chance. Someday I wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far behind. Where troubles melt like lemon drops. Yeah. 
It's very clear. I love this place. Not for a year, but forever and a day. The radio and the telephone and those crazy movies that we like. Maybe passing fancies or make time we show. But here are my Going down that way In time the Rockies may crumble To go to make some They're only made it But our love seems to stay Well, the world's very clear It's very clear Our love is here to stay It's not for I am Not today, tomorrow, ever end We have to do one song together, all three of us. And uh, this particular song, Maria only knows the first line. <laughs> like a good man, so. <laughs> so, if you want to help out in this, by all means do. But we're going to let her lead us into it. You want me to count it? You trust me? Not really. One, two, three, go. It don't mean a thing if you ain't got that swing. You up, 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 you up. It don't mean a thing, all you gotta do is swing. Do up, 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 do up. It makes no difference if it's sweet or hot. You're not strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hear that rhythm, everything you got. It don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. Do up, do up, do up, do up, do up. Mm-hmm. 
Thank you so much. Have fun with these two girls. Maria Luigi. Thank you, Maria. Is anyone hot in here? We have more. Tracy, could we turn the heaters off, please? Thank you very much. I oh, you thought he was just hot. <laughs> Burning up there. <laughs> yeah, you wish. All right, well, we are going to have some exciting times tonight as we just saw uh, the lovely young lady who was standing next to me, of course, is uh, AJ. You probably very fondly refer to her as AJ. My name is Kay Payne, for those people who don't know me. And uh, my little tribute tonight is to Ella Fitzgerald. <sighs> one, two, one, two, two. What a wonderful lady. Born in 1917, died in 1979. Grab your coat and get your hair. Leave your worries on the doorstep. Just direct your feet to the sunny side of the street. Can you hear the pitter? So that was a long, like a fairly old time to get married, wasn't it? And she married a drug dealer. <laughs> Perfect thing for a musician to marry a drug dealer. <laughs> that got annulled in about two years. And then uh, a few years after that, she married Ray Brown, bass player. And uh, they ended up, they adopted a young child, and that was Ray Brown Jr. And the child was actually Ella's nephew. It was her sister's child. But uh, she had a pretty rough drop. She was uh, working with Chick Webb earlier in the go and then uh, with Dizzy Gillespie when she was with Ray Brown. And of course they were both working in different parts of the country so she didn't get much of a chance to have a relationship. So that marriage broke up after a few years as well. They reckon she was married a third time but they're not sure. How can you be sure if you weren't married or not? <laughs> I wish I could be like that. 
Well, we'll see. Um, 1942, that was her big break. And she uh, recorded this song. I'm pretty sure you'll recognize it. It's a song that was uh, originally a nursery rhyme. So I'm sure you'll know this one. If you feel like singing along, do. A tisket, a tasket, a brown and yellow basket. I wrote a message to my mummy on the way I dropped it. I dropped it, I dropped it. Yes, on the way I dropped it. A little girl picked it up, put it in her pocket. She was jumping on down the avenue without a single thing to do. She was pick, pick, picking all around. When she spun it all around, she took it, she took it. My little yellow basket And if she doesn't bring it back I think that I will die Now, one of the things about this song is that she had the band doing backup vocals with her I don't trust this band So I'm going to ask AJ Oh, goody, you are here to help me out with this one If you feel that you'd like to sing along AJ will give you instruction all right, you'll give them direction. You'll be right with that? Cool. And do feel free to join in, all right? A tisket, a tasket. I lost my yellow basket. Someone doesn't bring it back. I think that I will die. Oh, gee, I won't know where my basket could be. So do we, so do we, so do we. sang into her 80s. And um, this first song we're going to do is But Not For Me. Old man, sunshine, listen Just try it, and I'll start a riot. 
It's the final curtain. I never ever want to hear from any cheerful Pollyannas who tell you fate creates a maid. It's all the nags. They're writing songs of love, but not for me. I love the stars above, but not for me. We love to lead the way. I found more clouds of gray than any Russian play could guarantee. I was a fool to fall and get that way. I hope I last and also a lack of day. Although I can't dismiss the memory of his kiss, I guess he's not. I guess he's not for me. make vibrato, which for a singer is a bit of a, you know, it's a bit troublesome. So <laughs> I read a, her autobiography and she said she used to shake her head like a trumpet does and uh, 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 like that, <laughs> which I'm not going to do tonight. Uh, <laughs> but it meant that she uh, picked a lot of fast tempos, so she did short notes, so she didn't have to worry about vibrato. So this next one's nice and fast. And, uh, Thank you. 
about a Negro Day singing is she would take a melody and get rid of all the extra kind of notes and just often just sing one note for a long time like in that song I just did then. And um, she really, she married a drummer and she just loved rhythm. So her main focus of singing has been a rhythm. So yeah, just in time. Just in time I found you, just in time before you came. My time was running low, oh, I was lost. The loose and dice were tossed, my bridges all were crossed. Nowhere to go, now you're here, now I know just where I'm going. Although I must admit, I always thought that 
and yet her day is a, a better scatter than Ella. How dare I think that? But uh, she was quite an amazing scatter herself, Anita. But Ella was the one. She was the lady of jazz, the queen of jazz. And she was the one that we knew who did improvisation. This song is off her 75th anniversary album, which it's called Smooth Sailing, but you'd never know that because there are no words. It's entirely scattered and improvised. Just a 12 bar blues, and we call it improv in E flat. A one, two, a five, twelve, left, four. And it's just real smooth like Ella will do. Oh yeah. Oh, hey, 
You're late. Someone comes in now. <laughs> Don't sneak in. Is that a cigarette? Smokers here? We're the worst kind, aren't we? We tell people off. We can't help it. Never mind. I'm going to sing one of my favourite songs. It was written by Fats Waller. And Ellen did it. And Rita O'Day did it. And Sarah Vaughan, I think, did it as well. So that's one. Oh, and it's just this young gentleman here. Yes. This lovely young gentleman here is going to give me a G pedal. He, I know. He, he does a lot of G pedals tonight and he's decided he wants to get paid per note. 20 bucks a note. Here we go. Here you go, you dick. <laughs> you tell him, love. <laughs> Thank you. 
Notice how we rehearsed that ending and how perfect it was. <laughs> That's what jazz is all about. It's just about um, getting out there and doing it and having a bit of fun. I think um, I enjoyed Ella most when she got older and she just became so much more relaxed and, and more adventurous. And she worked with some of the most amazing people, Oscar Winterson and um, Tell Me Flanagan. Count Basie, that's the other one I'm thinking about. Did some great stuff with them. But the, probably the, the big performance that stands out for me is one she did at a festival. And I just lost the name of it in my head. It's old silence coming back. <laughs> old timers coming back, I call it. She did the Great American Songbook. And every time she did a song from that, she did it differently, and she made it better each time. This is one of my favourite ones from the Gershwin songbook, and this is Ella's version she did when she was, I think she was about 70 years old at the time. Oh, oh, oh. 
two songs I'm going to do for you tonight uh, are taken from Anita O'Day's performance uh, at the 1958 Newport Jazz Festival and it would have to be her most notable performance that she gave in her whole career. Um, you can actually watch it on Bert Stern's uh, Jazz on a Summer's Day, it's a DVD and I recommend getting it. You can get it for 10 bucks these days, you know? Uh, so. I'm going to give Nick the opportunity to get a few more G's. <laughs> so, you've got someone counting, don't you, Nick? I've got someone to do six. Yeah, someone's, yeah. yeah.
You sure? Oh, I want to know who wants Labor to win. Hand up. That about represents how it's going at the moment, actually. Who wants the Libs to win? Ooh. Who wants the Greens to win? <laughs> who wants the Sex Party to win? So far, the Liberals have got 77 seats. So I think we have a new government. <sighs> well, let's hope better, bigger things happen. We'll see what happens. Um, well, we thought we'd better do something together. And we've only really got one song left to go. And so we thought we'd pick a song that you guys would know as well, so that you could sing along if you felt like it, all right? Someone's eager to sing. You've got one. It's hey. not my grandmother, is it? I was just going to say, can we say hello to your grandma? AJ's grandma's here. Where are you, grandma? Put your hand up. There she is. Hello. Anybody else got their grandma here? What about you, Andrew? No? No? Anybody? No? Nor am I. Okay. Now, we're going to do this song that, um, I don't know if any of them did it, but we did it. And that's the most important thing, isn't it? That's what counts. One, two, five, twelve, Now, if you do feel like singing, as I said, we don't mind. We'd really love to have you join in, all right?
Thank you very much and good night everyone.